Hello everyone, I'm Islav from Dual Core Studio and in today's video I'll show you how to do 6 frame walk cycles and 8 frame walk cycles. So let's jump into it. First one on the list I wish to cover are the poses themselves, how they are called. I'm Actually there are a few different names for each of the poses but I like to use these and you can uh, use them as well if you wish to. So the first one, uh, actual pose is the contact pose. And as you can see right now, I have eight different poses. Uh, in six uh, for in six frame walk cycles, you have different combinations of those eight. So let me explain first all eight of them. Of course, there are uh, different animation walk cycles where you can have more than eight uh, frames, but in most cases, this is just enough uh, to get nice fluid animation. Even six can go uh, quite okay. Uh, depending on resolution, you can even have two to four frame walk cycle, and I've showed that in one of my previous videos. All right, so the contact pose is the first pose. Uh, if you use eight frame walk cycle, you can start on any of these, but personally, I like the contact pose the most for the first frame, and that's the pose where the legs are, both the legs and arms actually are the mostly spared apart. In this example, you can see that the actual arm, uh, the front arm, the right arm and the right legs, uh, leg are in different color, they are in gray color, while the left arm and the left leg are the black color. So you can see the difference more easily and where the position of each of those is. Uh, Alright, so after the contact pose where you have this position, uh, the character walks in the front, so towards the, of course, forward, and when he does that, he bends his knee a little bit, and that's called the low pose. In, and in that pose, character goes down a little bit, so his head goes a little bit down. And after that low pose, it's the passing pose. So that's the position where the leg and the arms are starting to go from the back position to forward position. And after that passing pose, there is the high pose, uh, in which case, when the character passed the middle, he will go a little bit uh, on his toes on one leg and therefore his head will go a little bit up. And that's what gives the animation a little bounce uh, when he walks. And those four poses are actually all there is to it. And the reason we have eight of those, um, you just do uh, those same poses but for different leg. So you repeat contact, low passing and high pose, but you switch the legs and arms around in different positions. Now, if you watch only, um, let's say the right arm, the front arm, you'll see it does have eight different positions, but when you take into consideration uh, these four poses, contact, low passing and high, you'll see uh, that in first four frames, it's like the main character, so to speak, and in the other one is the secondary. Uh, and let me show you how this looks. So this is eight frame walk cycle, you can watch it over here. I'll even increase the size. This is it. So those are eight frames of walk cycles. Now, uh, there are different uh, timings you can use. Uh, this isn't eight frames per second. These are just eight frames. Each of those lasts for 100 milliseconds, so it's not a full second. If I wish to change that, I can just increase the frame duration to 128 uh, milliseconds. And this is how it looks, eight frames per second. As you can see, it goes from the contact pose to low pose, passing, high, and then contact again, but for, for different leg, low for different leg, passing and high. And that simply continues around. Okay, so the thing you need uh, to actually watch uh, when you animate is his head definitely. Now, if in all poses I uh, created the same um, height for his head, his animation will look something like this.
there's no bounce it's not realistic it doesn't feel quite right and not only that i'm using only four frames on this walk cycle contact pose passing pose and then again contact but for different leg and passing again for the different leg now with just four frames you can achieve this if you use a low and high pose so this is animation with only contact the passing pose if you add low and high pose it looks like this way better right okay so there are different ways you can approach six frame for uh, six frame walk cycles first one is to use uh, contact i mean contact the passing pose are the core you kind of had to have them uh in almost all cases that i actually saw in uh, practice so these are only four and when you add two more you can add either the high pose or the low pose and you need to take into consideration uh when they come so the low pose comes after the contact pose and the high pose comes after the passing pose let it sink in a little bit uh, you will also have all of these examples free to use once i upload them on google drive um, so in uh, this example you can see our character with contact passing high pose so the combination is contact passing with high and this one is contact passing but with low so actually contact low passing you can see that these two animations are a bit different it's up to you to choose which one suits you the better but personally i like the low the most and bear in mind i didn't change the position of legs or arms to tweak it a little bit which is usually done when you do um, six frame walk cycles but as you can see this is quite enough all right so if you let's say you want to have your character walk but with weapon in head you can just uh make one arm completely static and this is what you would get so eight frames like this and let me show you how that would look there you go now we can add um, like a weapon in his hand to make it look a bit cooler and so on all right so all of these assets will be available also on google drive once i upload them so i will link it down in the description that's all for today see you next time